Welcome back and now we are going to go over to the waiting area to meet Team UNISA from the University of South Africa as they wait to meet their fate and a set of challenges from the judges. Stay tuned. Our team is about to go in and we're feeling very excited to present our presentation to the CFO judges. We're feeling confident, we're feeling anxious, we are excited to show our presentation skills and what we have. We're very proud of ourselves and whatever happens after this, we are proud of ourselves and we believe in us. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm still here at the Johannesburg Stock Exchange again for the CFO case study competition of 2017. I'm your host, Butlewen Kosim Gandla, and standing right next to me is Team Unisa from the University of South Africa. And I must say the pressure is mostly on this team because their responsibility is to keep the prizes and the title within the borders of South Africa. Guys, how do you feel about that? Um, during the presentation, I think we did really well and we are very positive about this competition. I think we're going to win this competition. And you're going to keep the prize within the borders of South Africa? Definitely. So I must say, uh, the teams are saying that it was really difficult in there. The stage is hot. Some got burnt and some survived. Uh, what made you most nervous? I think what made us most nervous was the people that we had to answer to. They like, the goddess, they like so clever. And then you have us. But I think we did really well. I'm proud of our teammates. And Maxine, as the team leader, how did you keep your team motivated? So uh, we had a plan to practice every time another team went in because we weren't allowed to see them. So we made sure we practiced about five times today before we went in. We made sure of our game, game plan that we stick to it. So we worked really hard and we knew it and we were when we went in, we were like in the zone. Now, as the seniors of the competition, you guys had the opportunity to look at the junior presentations. Any takes on that? Uh, we had the opportunity to look at the junior presentations, of which some of them, they are so good. We didn't expect that from high school students, but we also believe that ours went well too, so we are happy for this competition. All right, guys, thank you so much. I guess all you can do now is keep your fingers crossed. With me are the team leaders of three of the teams that participated in the competition and performed first. It's Team UMCC from Germany, Team Iris from Ghana, and Team Eureka from China. All right, Team Eureka, you gave your first performance and you were first in line. How was that? I think we were did great. Like We have performed what we have prepared, so uh, I'm quite happy and confident about that. And you had the advantage of actually seeing all the other teams, UMCC and IRIS perform. How was that? Were their presentations very good or are you still very confident that you'll take it home? 
Uh, I think uh, both of them presented really well, and uh, they have outstanding uh, analysis and also uh, presentation. But uh, I, I'm still confident about our presentation. Yeah. Tim Iris from Ghana. You had expressed that you were most nervous about the judges' questions. How did you find those? Well, um, aside our nerves, we, we really comported ourselves very well on stage. And so just like when the questions came in, we were very comfortable. And the questions were not anything we didn't know about. So it was very fine with the questions. Thank you. And Tim, you MCC from Germany. It was interesting that uh, you were concerned about the sunburn. But I must ask you, was, uh, did you leave the stage on fire? Or did the stage burn you? What are your take based on your performance? I think we were really good performing on the stage. And we left them with a good yeah, um, impression. And the judges were really quest ni nice questions. And so I think we did a good job. And we are still yeah, looking forward and hopefully also joining the finals. Well, those, those were the three team leaders from the three first teams, and they both look very, very confident. I can't wait to see what they think tomorrow, should they make it to the finals. Thank you so much, and congratulations on your presentations. Good day, everyone. This is Tim Einstein from Nigeria. Uh, we are day three, joining Borg Stock Exchange. We just finished our presentation uh, and battling with the judges' questions, and we hopefully hope... Uh, with our, with our judgment, we make it to the finals. We were excited to be here, to be all the way from Nigeria, to meet other teams, to interact with people globally. Um, and about the quest, um, judges' questions, they were a little tricky, but yeah, we walked our way around it. And we believe that with that, we'll be able to make it to the top three finalists. Okay, so I know for most teams, the most hardest part is the question. Everyone is all nervous about the question. I want to know from this side, how did you handle the questions? It was very tough. We, I think we all stuttered a little bit and we all tried to make sure that the judges didn't see that we absolutely didn't know what to say <laughs> at first, but then in the end, I think we pulled it off. Okay. And that was Tim Fist, guys, and I wish you all the best. Thank you. I mean, firstly, we're all excited. Um, I think we, most of us, we're prepared and we're feeling confident and we can't wait to showcase our ability and our hard work that we've done this year. And yes, excitement. So aren't you guys afraid of the questions? No, um, I think we are not afraid of the questions. We are prepared. We gave a good stud um, case study and we will give a good presentation. We know the content of our report and so we will give good answers to that questions. And standing right next to me is Tim Peacox, all the way from the African Leadership Academy in Johannesburg. And they were the first team under the CFO Junior Case Study to present. Guys, how do you feel? How was that? Uh, so the presentation was, uh, it was tough. Tough questions came by. But it's more of how can you maintain your composure and go ahead and deliver whatever you had prepared. It's all about preparation in our case. Yeah. Do you guys think you'd really make it this far? Top six is a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our objective is final, then hopefully first place tomorrow. But we believe in ourselves, yes. I was there and I witnessed a couple of curveballs that were thrown at you guys. One, I must say, came from Professor Lolwane, chair of the QCTO. And her question was really, how would you guys deal with uh, the challenges that the Chamber of Mines had, Mines had thrown at you? Were you guys surprised? Because I was surprised. How did you deal with that question? Yeah, I think we were pretty surprised, but as Cyril said, we just gave it a shot and we did our best to just try to give a proper answer to the, her question. And I think we're generally satisfied with the work that we've done. Yeah. And your confidence levels, do you think you'll take it home? Well, I think one of the most important aspects in, you know, in the finance world, business world, is to believe in ourselves. So we believe in ourselves and we hope that we're going to make it as far as possible. And next to me, I have Team Evolution. So these guys were writing exams, but they made it today. How did you manage the whole thing of moving for an exam to coming to complete? 
Uh, well, um, I must admit it was quite complicated at first, but uh, it's all about time management. You just need to be able to get up early in the morning, sleep late at night, get your minimum hours, six hours of sleep less if you have to. Study when you when you can in the morning when you're fresh, late at night, and then do the rest during the day. Okay. So when you got to the room and to the competition, uh, how, how was it and how was the questioning? Because everyone was scared about that part. My heart couldn't stop beating at about 100 miles per hour, but uh, I think when we focused our, our energy and focused our uh, knowledge and what we had learned and what we had researched, we were able to answer the questions cohesively and in a manner that we were able to give the judges the response that they required. Afterwards, I was able to breathe eventually. <laughs> Next to me is Team Ivy from Ivy College in Johannesburg and these guys are seemingly very very relieved after giving a stunning performance on stage. Now guys congratulations for making it this far in the competition. I just want to get to know how do you feel now that you have broken a leg on stage? Well we feel very excited and we're very keen to know about the, who got into the top three. Although we're quite nervous but then we're very much confident about how we did and how we performed. We tried our best so we put our, le our best leg forward. Best. So thank you. So I must ask, uh, can you recall how you found out about the competition? Um, actually, Sisu and I had just finished writing a was it a class test. Our teacher walked up to us and said, "Hey, there's this competition being done by some CFO company where they want young entrepreneurs, young business-minded children, to come out and solve a couple of problems." Um, so we entered. But I'd like to note one more thing. I feel like the CFO competition isn't advertised enough. You know, because there's millions and millions of youth out there who would like an opportunity like this. So I would suggest maybe, you know, having more of a social media presence on Twitter and maybe moving to Instagram because these are the more relevant social media pages with the youth right now. Wow. Okay, that just proves to me why these guys made it to the top six. This guy is already giving us advice. Thank you very much for that. Uh, I just want to find out, are you guys still very confident that you'll take it home? Yeah, of course. Uh, we're very confident. I will feel like uh, we have utilized every presentation skill and technique that we've learned in school and we've learned throughout this competition. And with that being said, yeah, uh, we are very confident that we'll win. All right, may the best team win. Stay tuned, guys. Hello, Hello Africa. Africa. This is where the next generation of global business leaders will arise from. We entered the Charter Quest Junior CFO case study competition with the hope of gaining valuable insights into the business world and to explore potential fields of study, allowing us to make informed decisions on future career paths. This competition bridges the gap between knowledge and real life application by exposing us to scenarios in which we first have to identify the problem before solving it. By forcing us to consider not only the financial implications of our decisions, but both the ethical and environmental impacts simultaneously, we developed an ability to view our problems from an ultimate perspective. We were constantly challenged and pushed to new breaking points. The view on high school and believe that you can conquer the challenge. Form a team and enter now. From Cape to Cairo. From Dakar to Mogadishu. All roads lead to Johannesburg. South Africa. Take this opportunity to meet some of Africa's business leaders as well as the chance to take home 50,000 Rand. We look forward to meeting you in 2018. Good, Good luck. luck! Log on to www.charterquest.co.za, click on the CFO and register today. Johannesburg Stock Exchange and I'm standing next to Professor P. Lolwane from VIRS and this lady right next to me has been very instrumental in the education system of South Africa as many may know her as the former CEO of Umalusi and currently the standing chairperson of QCTO. Ma'am, I'm so honored. Thank you for joining us and thank you for the extended support. I must ask you, what were your impressions being chief judge of the junior uh, case study competition? 
I was so impressed. I couldn't believe that our public schools could produce such high standards. I really do believe that there is so much hope and future for not only our education, but also our country and this economy. So ma'am, I must ask you, as the chief judge of the CFOK study competition for the junior version, what were your impressions? I'm very impressed with the kind of caliber of students that have come through. If this is the kind of student who goes to our public high schools and even our private high school, I think the, the standard was very good. They were prepared very well. They have presented very well. You couldn't say how young they were in order to be able to do this. And what encouraged you to step up as chief judge? What really drove you to come on board? I spent all my life trying to improve the quality and the quantity of education. Every opportunity where I can lend my hand, I think I'm at that point where I have got to share, I've got to teach, I also have got to learn. I have learned a lot in association, being in association with this organization, Charter Quest. Does that mean you'll continue giving us your support for next year, maybe 2018? I hope, God willing, I hope I will still be able to do that. So ladies and gentlemen, that was Professor P. Lolwane from VIT, former CEO of Umalusi and current standing chairperson of the QCTO. Thank you so much, Professor. Thank you. And you won't believe it, I'm standing next to the CFO of Telcom SA, Mr. Dion Fredericks. He was chief judge for the CFO case study competition of 2016 for the MCOM case study. And he's standing here today just to show his support. He's still judging for the senior competition and I just want to get his views on the competition so far. Has it exceeded your expectations from the 2016 version? Yeah, I think the 2016 version has actually put a very high standard there. I think the standard that we've seen is, in. you can compare it with that. I think the uh, different teams have actually prepared well, they presented well, uh, and, and I believe what we try to do is establish this mindset, how do we look business-minded at these businesses, they really achieved it. What makes this year very special is the fact that we have the CFO Junior Case Study Competition. Have you had a chance to look at any of the teams? No, unfortunately I, I didn't. But I think the key for me is that we started there. It's actually not starting at universities, it's actually starting in the schools. Because if we lay the right foundations there, we will get the right students into the universities. So I think it's a great initiative and well done to Valentine and his team. Can I then prophesy another two years, three years, maybe ten years of you supporting us? Look, I will continue supporting. Maybe next year I must give, this year I'm a chief judge again. So next year maybe I must give somebody else a chance as well. But it is great to be uh, associated with this initiative and I really enjoy it. Mr. Dion Fredericks, thank you very much for your support. It's always my pleasure to contribute and support and I'll be back next year. See you in South Africa. Do you dream of being a future global business leader? And are you a university student or a young professional at the age of 25 or below? Then grab a team of three or four and apply for the ChatterQuest CFO Case Study Competition 2018. We grew personally and professionally while dealing with challenges multinational companies are facing in emerging markets and defended our own strategic recommendations in front of industry leaders and highly renowned CFOs. What differentiates this competition from others is that you will advise a global company that is operating in one of the fastest growing economies. The ChartaQuest CFO case study competition will change your life and boost your future career opportunities. Team Eureka from University of Hong Kong. <laughs> Team UMCC from University of Munster, Germany. Team Iris from the University of Ghana. What a global business experience from an African perspective. Apply now. Log on to www.charterquest.co.za, click on the CFO and register today. Hello Africa. 
This is where the next generation of global business leaders will arise from. We entered the Charter Quest Junior CFO case study competition with the hope of gaining valuable insights into the business world and to explore potential fields of study, allowing us to make informed decisions on future career paths. This competition bridges the gap between knowledge and real life application by exposing us to scenarios in which we first have to identify the problem before solving it. By forcing us to consider not only the financial implications of our decisions, but both the ethical and environmental impacts simultaneously, we developed an ability to view our problems from an ultimate perspective. We were constantly challenged and pushed to new breaking points. If you are in high school and believe that you can conquer the challenge, Form a team and enter now. From Cape to Cairo. From Dakar to Mogadishu. All roads lead to Johannesburg, South Africa. Take this opportunity to meet some of Africa's business leaders, as well as the chance to take home 50,000 Rand. We look forward to meeting you in 2018. Good, Good luck. luck. Log on to www.charterquest.co.za, click on the CFO and register today.